Okay, well, it's great to see so many familiar faces and so many new faces uh, today. And at, at least you're smiling now, so that's a good sign, too. Maybe I can give a good talk. Uh, I, a lot of you are, are, might be wondering about these books that are strewn on, on the floor in the front. This is, this is part of a, a, a Christmas tradition. Uh, every, 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 uh, all through the year, I, I keep getting uh, copies of my books that are uh, like they, 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 a new printing came out, and, and so they give me a book so that I can check it, or, 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 or uh, a new translation came out, and they send me two copies of the translation, and I, I only need one. And, and so uh, I bring the extra copies with me, and they're, and they're sitting here uh, uh, this year. So, so some of them are in, uh, in Chinese, Japanese, uh, uh, most of them are in English, uh, and, and there's also a couple of, of, art, of uh, uh, real collector's items, uh, uh, tech reports from, from the from the uh, uh, from, from when Meta Metafont was new, uh, and things like that. So anyway, I had multiple copies of uh, of stuff, and this is this is my way to to do, to do better than than put it in the in the recycle bin. Um, I'm going to sit down in a minute. Oh, oh yeah, there's a rule though. Uh, it, uh, it, first of all, only one to a customer. Um, so, so, you know, if, if you need two of them, you and your friend each get one. <laughs> uh, and, and the other one is, uh, uh, if you ask a specific, a particularly good question during the talk, uh, then I'm going to mention that, th that you get first choice b before somebody else, uh, uh, because otherwise, you, you know, you might uh, c come up, but you only get one of the other ones that you didn't want to read anyway. So, so uh, uh, but but anyway, uh, th th so those are the ground rules: one to customer, and and then there's going to if anybody does ask a good question, uh, uh, th th then they get priority. Uh, and uh, and and by the way, that means that you are allowed to ask questions <laughs> as I talk. Okay, now I'm going to sit down because I'm an old man. Um, I've got a lot to I've got a lot to say, uh, and I, I hope I can get it all out in the, in the right order. When I was a uh, grad student, uh, hey, we got people standing in the back. There, there are some there are some empty seats in the front. Uh, oh, not not a heck of a lot of them, I guess. <laughs> so so when I was a grad student, my, my advisor Marshall Hall was the world's foremost foremost authority on permutations. And I took his class, and I didn't really understand his lectures that well, but I wrote down everything he said. And, and then the, the, the problem was uh, to find a permutation of his words that would make sense afterwards. <laughs> uh, so, well, I'm, I'm going to try to give the right permutation today. But if I don't, well, you might have to watch the video and, 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 and replay it. Uh, the uh, uh, title, as you, get, as you uh, can see, way at the bottom is, is Dancing Cells. And uh, as Pax mentioned, the, uh, uh, my talk five years ago uh, was called Dancing Links. And also in the year 2000, I, uh, I, when, when uh, the whole thing was, was kind of brand new, I, I also had a, a, a music on YouTube called Dancing Links. And uh, yeah, I, I, I watched them, and I'm still not too embarrassed about what I said then. But, 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 but uh, actually, there, there's a lot of good news. Uh, uh, because we've improved dancing links now to, to something that has the jazzy name dancing cells, and and, and uh, uh, but the uh, basically this, uh, this this talk is about data structures, and and so were the two talks before that were called dancing links. In other words, uh, uh, the, the way to represent information in a computer. Uh, and the structure, be, uh, the, the, the structure between uh, between items of data, uh, uh, is is called the data structures problem. And and in the um, uh, it, uh, old timers like me in our hoobas, we used to think that all the important data structures were were well understood by 1970 or 1980. Uh, and, and so so no need to learn anything more. But uh, but uh, what I'm talking <laughs> today is something that I. I, I learned, you know, three years ago, and and I, I, I could have learned ten years ago if I was if I'd looked the right place. Uh, so so uh, uh, and I'll, I'll get into the details. But the whole story starts with one of the one of the first really uh, 
reading great, great books of, of computer science. I don't know if, if anybody in the audience remembers this one, Aho, Hopcroft, and Ullman. Hands, did anybody know this book? Here's one. <laughs> a few, few, yeah, okay, yeah, we could. Five percent. Anyway, so, so this book came out uh, uh, almost exactly 50 years ago, um, and uh, and it had this exercise on page 71, I think it was. Um, so let's see if we can zoom in to right to right here. Is there, uh, okay, so it's a, it exercise 2.12, and it has an asterisk, means uh, advanced. Uh, and and, and said, develop a technique to initialize an entry of a matrix to zero the first time it is accessed, thereby eliminating the order v squared time to initialize, to initialize an adjacency matrix of a graph. And then it gives a hint as to, as to, as to how to do that. Uh, and, and, and this exercise, I mean, in, in my copy of the book, uh, in the back cover, I, 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 I noticed you know, pages that really surprised me, and, this, and, and the first one was exercise 212, an uninitialized memory. Well, and so, so what's that all about? Um, well, let's, let's suppose we have a, 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 a huge array in memory, um, uh, and in those days, um, a huge array meant more than a thousand, or <laughs> more, more than ten thousand. But, but, but now you, you, could, you know, just, just imagine we have have some array that ha that has you know a, a, a few billion elements or something like that, um, and it, it's all full. It, it's all filled with uh, uh, with with uh, some, something random bits. Basically, we don't we don't have any idea what's in it. But we would still like to use the computer's ability to, to do random access. So, so, so we want to access something, and, and so we want, to, we, we want to work it out so that uh, if, if it, it, yeah, I, I want to store things in this memory without initializing it. So, 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 the, so the first time I, uh, yeah, so, 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 so maybe uh, 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 here's element 3142, for example. And, and and I I, I want to store something in in, in, uh, in position thirty one forty two, uh, and so I, I I want this to be reliable, but I don't want to have to spend the time to st I want it to act as if it was all initialized to zero, but but I don't want to take the time to actually do the initialization that you know, that, that might be take longer than t t my whole program, so so uh, uh, what's what's the secret, and. and and so the secret is uh, okay. So well, we can call this uh, uh, sparse, I guess. Um, and then I have another uh, another array over here called dense. Um, and and um, uh, so what happens is I, I, I look at this element, whatever it is, uh, uh, and and if it and and I know how many elements I've already seen, so so, so I have another another counter s as an, s is the size of uh, 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 how many things. Uh, initially, there's nothing in den, uh, and and initially s is zero. Uh, so so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put I'm going to put zero here and I'm going to put thirty one forty two here. It, 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 in, in position zero of then, and then and then okay now, uh, and since and since s was zero, uh, uh, no matter what I fetched here, uh, uh, I, I know it'll be the first time. Well, I mean, maybe next thing I I, I put something here in position sixteen eighteen and. And, and, and so I can put a one there, and I put sixteen eighteen here, and and then uh, 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 do more computation and and say okay now let me look at uh, thirty one forty two. Well, I I look at forty thirty one forty two. It has the number zero in it. I check zero. Oh yeah, that's that 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 matches. So that's good. Uh, so so now I, uh, I do some more ca calculation. What's another n number I might want to do here? Twenty seven eighteen or something like this. I might want, I might want to probe twenty twenty seven eighteen, and I. And I look in 2718. Oh, I see. Uh, uh, there's a one in there. Um, 
uh, but I look in position one and it doesn't say 2718. So, 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 so that didn't work. Uh, so, so I know that I've got to put two here and I've now got two, th I, I've now got two items. So, so, so the, uh, the, the main idea is then uh, I have, I, I can use all these guys and, and whenever I, whatever, whatever I read, there's going to be something in there. And I, I'm going to reject that unless it, it, unless it points to something less than S and, and, and the, the dense array confirms that it's, it was actually something that I did to, to the array. Okay, so, so this is the trick, and uh, it's called the, the, uh, 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 the, it got to be called the sparse, array, uh, the, the sparse array trick. So sometime during the, uh, sometime during the 80s, I got around to, to revising my book, The Art of Computer Programming, Volume 1, and, and uh, uh, it, it, the third edition didn't come out until 25 years ago, but uh, but, but at that time we did. I, I, I did have the exercise on page uh, 307 here uh, called the sparse array trick. So suppose you want to use a large array for random access, although you won't actually be referred to very many of its entries. You want a of k to be zero the first time you exit, but you don't want to spend the time to set every location to zero. Explain how it's possible to read and write any desired elements a of k right, reliably given k without assuming anything about the actual initial memory contents, doing only a small fixed number of additional operations per array axis. I got a question back here, yeah. Yeah, maybe a basic question. In, in your example, let's say, you know, at the next step, I want to write zero to location 999. 999? Nine, nine, nine. Yeah, what would I do? Uh, okay, now, in, in location 999? Nine, nine? Yes. All right. So. Here it is, and I, and I look at 999, and I, and I fetch and I fetch whatever's in there. Okay. Now, now, what, whatever is in there, if it's bigger than if it's bigger than two, then it's got to be bad. If it's less than two, I can check to see if it's okay. Okay. So I, I, let, let me write down the uh, write down the algorithm. Uh, so. So, so, so let's say read, um, re, read k. Okay, what does that mean? So, so I, so I set r, set r to sparse of uh, k. All right, and, and then I say if r less than s and dense of r. Can you read that? Equals k. Um, return uh, uh, data of. I, 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 I'm going to have another. I, I'm going to have another uh, another array data here where where I actually where I actually actually put uh, actually put stuff. Um, so so we return return data of k. Um, you know, Otherwise, uh, I set sparse of sparse of k to s, uh, and dense of s to uh, k, and I, I, I'm also going to put back of I, I keep keep another array back uh, in case somebody wants me to restore memory to the way it was before. That's not necessary, but it may, maybe maybe they want it. So back of s to r. S um, to S plus one, and return zero. And, and so, so this is an integer uh, subroutine, read k, and so it, it returns zero the first time something comes, and and so so it, income nine nine nine, uh, whatever it is, it's uh, it's not going to pass this test, and so we're going to set uh, uh, sparse of. Uh, 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 I'm, 999, K is 999, so we're going to set sparse of 999 to S, which is 3. Uh, and then we're going to set dense of S to K, which is, which is here. Um, and we're going to set back of S to, to, to uh, uh, whatever, whatever that, that, that number was that in there, X999. X and, so the, and then uh, S is now, is now equal to 4. Uh, uh, okay, so thanks for the question. Now, uh, and and of course that's what the uh, that's what the answer uh, 
uh, uh, one of the things about uh, about my book is it does have answers, and uh, and so in the answer it's, it mentioned it mentions that by the way you you could also uh, back up to the original to the original condition if you wanted to. Okay, now uh, uh, that was 50 years ago. Uh, something else happened uh, tw 25 years ago, and that was a paper that that came out. Um, so this is 1993, a paper that, that came out by Preston Briggs and Linda Thorson at, at Rice, uh, and, and they're working on compilers, and, and they had, they had uh, uh, developed uh, a, an extension of these ideas that, that turned out to be important uh, in, in their compiler implementation. And, and, and so here it says, uh, uh, Inspired by a memorable homework problem of Aho et al., <laughs> problem 2.12, we developed a sparse set representation that supports all the required operations efficiently, and we have, uh, okay, so, uh, uh, it, in other words, homework problems actually do uh, get noticed somehow by, uh, and, and, and so somewhere, you know, people were, were getting the idea, and they, uh, but their application w w was different. They they didn't really they weren't really f faced with a, a, a billion word array that they wanted. They, they didn't want to initialize. They really wanted to, to represent just a, just just a, a, a subset of, of a universe, and 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 so they they weren't interested in what what's in this billion word array. They just they're just interested in which which, which parts of the array have we actually uh, used so far. Uh, so, so, so in other words, they didn't they didn't need the data part here, or, or uh, they only wanted to know uh, you know, this list here of, uh, of the dense stuff. So, so uh, at, uh, but but uh, they they um, they gave up basically the algorithm that I just wrote down, uh, except that we didn't have to store anything or return zero, um, and then. They did something new because their compiler needed it, and that is on the next page they had a delete operation. Now, deletion is something that A. O. Hopcroft Norman did not talk about, and neither did I. Uh, and, and and so they so they said, well, uh, we, we we can also uh, uh, we can also remove stuff that 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 was, that was you know. So so, so so let me. Uh, uh, skip to uh, uh, well, ac well, actually, um, I, I, I'm searching for the right permutation here. Uh, uh, so, so l let me skip now to the book that I published last year, uh, and uh, this is Art of Computer Art of Computer Programming, Volume Four B. It uh, it makes a wonderful Christmas present, and <laughs> and it. Uh, uh, I, I I just learned today that the uh, that the Japanese translation has been finished and will be published in two weeks, and, and so, it's, so the, the Korean and Chinese translations are are, are, are going to be second and third in this in this race. But okay, so, so now uh, uh, I think. Uh, Let's see. Where am I on page forty? On page forty here. So, so here I'm talking about combinatorial algorithms and how to sto how, how to represent uh, uh, sets of things w w when you want to undo uh, your operation as well as do things. So, 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 so when we're solving combinatorial problems, uh, uh, it, it, it's basically uh, uh, we we want to uh, we're searching for. Uh, uh, a, a lot of needles in a huge haystack, and, and, and uh, so, so, so we look at parts uh, uh, of the uh, 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 of, the, of the tree of possibilities, and, uh, and 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 we have sets sets of possibilities that that, that grow uh, and shrink. Uh, but 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 they start out with lots of possibilities that then. 
uh, that, that we narrow down the possibilities after a while. Uh, but, but after we've explored that part, th th then we have to, to, to go back uh, uh, to a larger set again. So, we, so in these applications, uh, we start with a set that contains the whole universe instead of, instead of the uh, a whole and so on, which started w w with a set of, uh, that was empty. Uh, now we're starting with the, with the entire set, and 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 we delete stuff uh, periodically. And, and this is something that uh, uh, th that Briggs and Torshin did that uh, that uh, wasn't done before. They did, they deleted instead of inserted. And, uh, so 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 here's here's the idea. Um, uh, let's suppose that we have a set with 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 four things in it. I got three, three, nine, one, and four, and uh, uh, so, so so here's the set. It's it's just listed uh, sequentially, but in another array, uh, we've got the uh, we've got pointers to this one. So so three um, one points to, to where one is stored. Three points to where three is stored, nine points to where nine is stored, and four points to where four is stored. It's 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 like the uh, uh, this uh, uh, sparse uh, uh, I mean this dense array that that we had before, uh, uh, sparse and dense. I mean the, the, the bottom one is sparse and the top one is the dense version. And so now let's suppose we want to to uh, uh, delete nine. So so if if, if we delete nine. Um, we can see where nine is, um, but we we can swap nine uh, uh, with the four. Uh, so move the nine over here and bring the four to, to where the nine was, and then just move the, move the tail back. So so you, you can see see by deleting we we sort of do a swap in there and. Uh, uh, everything works. Zip, zip, zip. Uh, so, so that's the I, that's the idea of deletion, and I'm I'm going to work out a, 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 an example uh, in some details in order to make it clear. I hope. Um, so, in this application, uh, then I've got a a a, a, a universe of, of possibilities. Um, and I, I, I want to, at, at every point, I, I, I want to be, be representing s uh, some subset of that universe. Uh, and and, and, and uh, uh, people who work in in the combinatorial algorithms, they, 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 call it, they call it the domain. So, so I'll give, have an example where the domain has five elements. So, so, so I have DOM uh, is an array that has uh, uh, Five entries, and I, and I also have another uh, another array. I'll call it IDOM, uh, uh, and, and and each of these contains a permutation of of of, of the of, of, of the possible elements of the domain. So here, here here I'm considering that a domain is is some subset of zero, one, two, three, four, and. Uh, uh, and I've got all these numbers here, and I haven't told you what they mean. So this is DOM of zero. This is DOM of one. This is DOM of two. This is the, these are the identity permutations. So, so it just happens that that we start out everything. DOM of zero is zero. DOM of one is one, and and and, and, and so on. And then I have S, which is the total the total size of the domain, which is five. Um, and I can it, I, I, so, so now let's suppose I delete um, uh, I delete one. So so that means I can swap one with four and bring the four over here. Uh, that's that's DOM now. Uh, well, I DOM is the inverse permutation. Well, it turns out the inverse of this permutation is is the same, but. Uh, the, uh, the, the examples will become clearer soon, but 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 now s equals four, so indicate that by putting a vertical line saying, say, at, at position s. Uh, now, to, in order to, to make it a little more clear, uh, let's let's try to delete four now. So. Um, at this point, uh, I'm going to switch the four with the three. 
and S is going to go down to 3, and, and, um, and the inverse permutation, well, so 0 is still in position 0, 4 is now in position 3, 2 is still in position 2, 3 is in position 1, and, and, one, and 4 is in position 3. Whoops, 1 is in position 4. So, so this is the inverse, inverse permutation. Um, so, so, I, so, so in other words, uh, the first S elements of DOM, these are the elements of our set. Uh, and then the other elements that aren't in our set are listed afterwards. It's a permutation. So, so then I, I say, well, well, where does zero appear? Zero appears right in, in position zero. Where does one appear? It occurs in position four. Where does two appear, three appear, and so, so on. So, so, so if, if I want to test whether something is, is in the set, if I want to test whether four is in the set, I, I, I look at IDOM of four, which is three, and it's not in the set because it's bigger than or equal to S. So, not, so, so I'll, I'll do another example and then, and then write down the algorithm pretty soon. You, you'll see why it's very simple. So, so, so if I delete two, all I have to do is, is, move, is move that line one space to the left because I, I don't have to swap anything. Um, Okay, delete zero. Delete zero, we're going to have to switch three, zero. Okay. S, is, S is now one. And uh, so, so zero is in position one, one is in position four, two is in here, three is zero, four is three. All right. Now, so, so that's the that, that's the idea. Uh, but the beauty that the beautiful thing is, undelete. S suppose I say undelete uh, zero. I I can do that by just sh by just shifting by, by just changing s and, and shifting the, this to, this to the right. I don't get back to the. I, if, if I undelete zero, I'm sitting here with zero, three, two, four, one, one, four, two, oh, three. Um, and, but, but now S is two. I, I'm, not, I, I'm not back at what I had before. I'm sorry, this is three, zero. I, 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 I don't change anything except the, the, the position, yes. And so I don't change anything except the cutoff. And so, so, so um, I've got I, I've got the same set I, set I had here, but it's not it's not exactly the same representation because every every subset ha has many representations. Um, and, and 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 so the beauty is undeletion is it, it is trivial. Uh, I, I mean, just change that. So, so if I want to undelete zero. Two and four, I can I can undo all of these three three things. I don't change anything except ch ch change s back to four. And, and, and here it's going to be three o two four. So so, so you see, uh, the, the 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 numbers to the right of this bar show the things that I took out in the order that I took them out. And so if I move the bar, I, I get back to where I I get back to the same set of elements I had before. The, 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 the set of elements doesn't appear in, in any particular order, and I, I could have started this whole process uh, oh, with, with zero, one, two, three, four. I'm sorry, I could have started started this whole process with three, zero, two, four, one, uh, and one, four, two, or three. Any 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 permutation and its inverse, I, I I could have started that and say that that's my representation of of the entire domain. Oh, okay. so, so, so dancing. So, so, so as the algorithm proceeds, the, these uh, these numbers in here uh, uh, do a little dance. A and the importance of this was uh, was first recognized ten years ago in I I I in this paper uh, that came out. That this is 2013. Uh, sparse sets for domain implementation. 
And um, uh, I, I really want to meet this guy because he's got the most interesting name I've ever, <laughs> I've ever seen. Viennet Le Clement de Saint Marc, and then Pierre Schausk. Like Christine, she's my friend who told me about this paper, and and Christophe Le Coutre, who, uh, who wrote one of the one of the main books on on uh, constraint satisfaction, uh, and, and so these people are in. Uh, uh, in Belgium and France, and and, and, and they noticed uh, that the uh, th that that this, this idea that that had had come up in connection uh, with uh, sparse sets uh, twenty uh, sorry um, thirty thirty years ago. Uh, uh, I, what actually happened was, I think they discovered it independently, and then they were showing it to people and say, "Oh, yeah, this is the same as uh, at, at what people were calling sparse sets." Uh, uh, so, so uh, uh, I, I, I write out the algorithm, and, and we can see what it, uh, what it means. So, delete k um, says uh, set r to I dom of k. Uh, in other words, I want to delete element k, so I, I say where is where where does k sit in the dom array? So I dom of k tells me where k appears. Uh, then it says if r is greater than or equal to s, uh, return because it's not in it's not in the domain. If if if, if it's sitting if if, if uh, r is to the right of that line, it's it's not in the current domain, so so we can't delete it. Uh, otherwise, s is uh, s minus one, and, and and we look at uh, dom of s. So, so so we look at the guy who's in in the position now. That is uh, that's going to be leaving us, uh, and and we ch change dom of r to l. And, uh, and I dom of L to R because this, this preserves the inverse permutation. Um, and then we also uh, uh, keep track of, of, of what's going on for the larger elements, I dom of L, uh, R, oops, dom of, dom of S is, um, K and I dom of K is S. So you, you, you check that that's what I did in this. Uh, in this thing. Now, that's dancing cells. Let me let, let me show you what it was what it was like with dancing links. Um, so so dancing links was intended to solve the same kind of problem where, where we want to keep track of, of domains. And it, it, dancing links, uh, uh, we started out with all, all, all five possibilities, and, and, and these were kept in, in, in little nodes in the computer, and, 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 and they were pointing to each other with a doubly linked list. Um, uh, well, I, I actually put a, he I, I put a header node in here. Uh, uh, so, so, so everything pointed to the guy in front and, and the guy after. Um, and um, uh, so, 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 so there's a header node, and then after the header node, this guy, this points to this, this points to this, this points to this. Now, when I deleted one, uh, uh, in this case, uh, what happens? Well, they, we still got the header node. Uh, uh, and, and, and zero is here, but zero doesn't point to one anymore. Zero points over to two, uh, and two points back to zero now. Uh, but, but, we, but we still have the doubly linked list uh, uh, connecting. Okay, and and uh, 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 I'll delete one. I'll do one more deletion. This is the way dancing links work. Uh, 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 so if I deleted four, then three is now going to point off, off, off here, uh, and uh, and this guy's going to point 
back not to four but to three, and, and, the, and these two points to three, and, and uh, sorry, zero points to two, two points to one. Okay, and, and uh, the, the, uh, uh, the, the idea, w w when, w when we were doing Dancing Links, the, the idea was uh, to, to uh, I, what was he, to, to be unclean, to be sloppy, not to clean up our act. So, so a, after one was deleted, one, one still is pointing to two and, and, a, 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 as its successor and is still pointing to zero as its predecessor. And, and after four was deleted, four is still pointing here. So, so that when I want to do an undelete, I, I, it, it's easy to do an undelete because, the, because the, I, I, I know exactly which pointers I have to change when I'm undeleting. And that was the, that was the idea of dancing links. Uh, with, with, uh, uh, with, with dancing cells, though, undeletion is even is even faster because all we ha because I don't have to I only have to change uh, uh, one number uh, uh, to undo a whole a whole set of deletion. Okay, so so this is uh, the difference between dancing links and dancing cells. Uh, and for, for, uh, in both cases, uh, we're sort of uh, uh, using, well, okay, both cases, first of all, are extremely simple. The, the algorithms are only a few lines long. Secondly, uh, uh, it was, we almost did, in the 60s, we almost did this, but in the 60s, I, I didn't do dancing links because, I, because after I deleted something, I also, I also w was afraid to have these other uh, excess pointers sitting around there, so, so, I, so, so I zeroed them out. Uh, and I found out that if I didn't zero it out, uh, th uh, I, I, it wasn't going to be garbage collected, and, and, and I was going to be able to, uh, uh, to, do, to do everything zip zip later on. So, uh, with the dancing cells, uh, uh, the, the new idea is that uh, uh, we, we keep track of, of what's going on to, to the right of, of the bar, the elements bigger than S in the array. Uh, we, we don't ignore those. We, uh, we keep them up to date. We, we keep an inverse per permutation going all the time, and, and we're uh, and, and then we're in good shape. Okay. So so, so now uh, I'm going to uh, uh, go and, uh, and, and and show you more exactly what what's happening. But first, some questions that I can answer. Yeah, way in the back. Is that it? Yeah. Well, you it's you. Yeah. Um, so, I'm wondering whether for like other set operations like unions and intersections, if you're for unions and intersections, if you're willing to do them in place. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I do. Um, I'll, I'll yell louder. Uh, for unions and intersections, if you're willing to do them. Union in and intersection. Yeah, yeah. Can you can you get those pretty efficiently if you're willing to do it's them in place? It's possible to do union and intersection, but I, but but the application I'm talking about, we don't care. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> The, the, uh, the complement, no, but difference, yes. Wait for complement. You could just it, store take the direction. The complement you you with respect to the universe. That's um, well. I'm, I guess you you could. Yeah, you, you just you store the direction. Your way around. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's a good point. Yeah. No, that's true. Uh, the complement. Briggs and, and Carson didn't know how to do complement, but but now we do, do because we have the inverse, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what if, like, let's say you had. You wanted to. I still can't hear you. Oh, sorry, okay. uh, let's say that you wanted to make like a positive set instead of. So you initially delete everything from your set, but you do it in the or, like basically the reverse frequency order. So if you think that your set. I, I, you start again. Okay. okay. <laughs> let's say you started with everything. Yeah. And then you delete elements in a particular order. Yeah. Based on like their inverse frequency. So if an element is very likely to appear or be added to your set, yeah. then you want to delete that last, right? Because then the undelete operation would be very quick. I have some other process controlling, telling me what to delete. Yeah. Uh, but the data, I, I, here I'm talking about, uh, uh, you know, whatever that heuristic is, I, 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 this is the, the internal representation. Okay. I, 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 but, but, so so I, I can build other things around this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Not. 
Yeah, I'm, while I'm back here. <laughs> wow, back row. Yeah. Well, if yeah. you want to delete, if you delete A, B, C, and then yeah. undelete A, B, C, yeah. It, you no, have to no, do the swapping, I, I, right? I, 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 it's always last in first out. Okay. Yeah. No, I, 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 there is a way to. I, 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 to but that's called insertion. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Right. So, 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 yeah, so I'm glad for these questions because, uh, and, and uh, the people who ask questions, by the way, have priority for the books. So, so uh, now, uh, so, so now I want to talk about the context of, 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 of this whole thing. So, so, so why am I interested in domains and what, you know, uh, so uh, the, the general context is, uh, Solving combinatorial problems, and and by that I mean by combinatorial problem, I uh, I, I try to mean find all arrangements of, of objects, uh, in very general sense, and so so uh, uh, combinatorial problem is is somehow arrangements, and, and, and I know three good ways to uh, uh, to, to, to define a combinatorial. A, a combinatorial problem. Uh, so, so good, good way um, uh, to, to define uh, a, 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 a interesting class of arrangements. Um, uh, and and good by, by good I mean uh, declarative. I I, I mean I I I, I don't I, I want to I want to say what the arrangements are without. Without giving the method that I'm going to have to, have to do it, but but defining w w this this means to, to formalize to you know uh, to to make a model to, uh, s some kind of uh, you know encoding of of, of of the problem, explaining exactly what it means. So so we so, so I know I know three good ways to uh, to. to, to uh, to encode or, or make a model of uh, of uh, of combinatorial problems in in a way that's declarative instead of imperative. I, I declare what the problem is and let the computer figure out how to solve it. And, and, and uh, 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 one of the main ones, each of these has a, has a three-letter mnemonic, and, and constraint satisfaction problem is one of them. Um, is one of the, these mnemonics, uh, and. Uh, uh, that's what CSP stands for, and this means that we have that our model has variables, and each variable has a domain, and then we have, uh, and then uh, we have uh, uh, constraints, uh, w which are relations between between the values of the variable. Uh, that's the first. This the next one called SAT. This is for satisfiability, um, and this is the special case of CSP when all the domains are just Boolean. Every variable has just two, val two possible values. Well, the CSP allows uh, you know, D-ary uh, uh, things. In fact, it, it also allows continuous and infinite domains, but, I, but, but that's way beyond me. I, 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 I'm a finite guy. Um, and, and, and the third way is, is XCC, which is um, exact covering with colors. Uh, now, um, XCC. I didn't write. I didn't write it very good. XCC is the, is the new kid on the block. It isn't as well known as the other two. In fact, uh, as of today, it still doesn't have a Wikipedia page. Uh, I, I think that something else entirely, uh, uh, if, you, if you do Google for XCC, uh, which is a shame because, because uh, ha half of, of my book, Volume 4, is about XCC. So, 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 so I'm waiting for people to, uh, to, to realize that, that, uh, what, a great, uh, uh, what a great thing this is. But anyway, I, 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 don't have, I, I don't have time to wait. I have to write more books. But, but, but I might give one more lecture trying to popularize it. But, but anyway, sooner or later, people will realize that, 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 that XCC is, 
it, 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 it is a really important idea. And, and e each of these is sort of equal power. For, you know, I can take any CSP and I can, I can, I can encode it, I can convert it to a SAT problem in several ways. I, I, can, I can convert it to an XCC problem in several ways. And, and similarly, XCC problem I can represent as SAT, I can represent as a CSP, whatever. But, but uh, uh, each, uh, each, each come to a problem, uh, you know, s s some of them are best as SAT, some of them are best XCC, some are best as CSP. And the, um, uh, and, and the purpose of, of, of this, well, let, let me just sh show you, I, uh, I've got 450 exercises in, in here that, that give uh, uh, examples of why you'd want to know something, why XCC is, is, is a great model. Um, and so let's see, the exercises start here. Uh, so, so we, I just page, I start paging through. If, 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 zoom out a little bit. You, you can see that from the pictures that there's a lot of variety of the, of, of the kind of, of, of problems you have uh, uh, that, that, that we're modeling with, uh, with XCC problem. And uh, uh, let's see, I, I said 450, so we got, <laughs> so, so, these are, are lots of different kinds of problem, uh, and uh, I, this is only the tip of the iceberg. It ends with, uh, uh, with puzzles. Okay, so um, that's the context why I'm interested in dancing cells. I want, I, <laughs> I, 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 you know, we got CSP solvers, we got SAT solvers, and, and we got XCC solvers. And up until uh, up until last year, uh, the the uh, the best XCC solver was was called DLX or DLX2 anyway, uh, and and it, DL stood for dancing links, and. Uh, and, and, and so we had, uh, for more than 20 years, uh, the, the method of choice, if you had a XCC problem, uh, DLX was, was doing very well. And, and, uh, it, and, and you know, the people would have competitions with the uh, with same problems, try to solve them as CSP sat, and, and DLX was, was winning. Um, uh, so, so there's a lot of there were a lot of problems for for, for which the, uh, dancing links was uh, the the go-to method, but uh, 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 Christine Songno, who I mentioned uh, a few minutes ago, uh, introduced me to this idea. Of, uh, it, 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 the name dancing cells, by the way, is is her is her idea too. Um, and she she indu uh, introduced me to, to to this other data structure. Uh, Instead of using doubly linked lists, I could use I could use, use two arrays, a, a permutation and the inverse permutation. And so let me sh show you now uh, what is an XCC problem and and how do we actually I implement it with th with dancing cells. So I, I'm going to give you a, a toy ex uh, a, a toy ex uh, 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 problem so just so you get the idea. And, and, and XCC, as I said, is exact covering with colors. Uh, and it, it's uh, it's based on so-called options and items. So, so what, when we want what, when we want to, to to state an XCC problem, uh, uh, we give a list of all the options that are available to us, and we, we, we're supposed to choose uh, the, the best options. In some, or, or choose all, all uh, compatible options. Um, and so, an option, uh, it, it, option is, is a set of items. <laughs> um, uh, uh, so, so for, well, for, for example, uh, uh, you know, we're trying to find arrangements. So, so maybe it's a schedule for, uh, for, for classes at or for final exams at Stanford. Uh, maybe we're maybe we're trying to assign pe people to jobs, and, and, and so then an option would be you know assign uh, Joe to to, to, the, uh, to run the camera. Uh, 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 the items are are, are the uh, uh, like Joe. It would be an item. Uh, and, 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 a, and a camera. 
Um, and and, and, and I, the items are, are, are either primary or, or, or secondary. So, so we have a primary item um, and a secondary item. Um, and uh, the, 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 name, the, the name XCC says, is that covering with colors? Uh, the, the difference between a, a, a primary item uh, so, so, okay, so you, you list your options, and, and your problem is uh, to choose uh, uh, to choose from one of these options so that every pri primary item is covered exactly once. So there's exactly one chosen option of, uh, for ev for every item. Right, so if I'm trying to match people to jobs, then every person gets a job, and every job has been assigned a person. If if, if I'm uh, uh, yeah, oh, okay, so so then the secondary item. Uh, uh, however, uh, it has, has a color. A secondary item has it signed a color, and and in your options uh, for a secondary item, uh, you don't have to have it, it, that secondary item doesn't have to be in, in any of the options. But but whatever options it does appear, it has to always have the same color. So 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 so, uh, so so the primary option says, uh, uh, you know, this 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 is the option that uses that uses me. The secondary option says, uh, th these are the flavors uh, in, in which I can appear. So so you think of a crossword puzzle, where the um, the, uh, the primary items are the words across and down, uh, or. Uh, 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 the secondary items are the letters that are that are entered, and so so if 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 one of your options puts the letter X in a particular cell, another another option for the downward has to put an X in that cell in that same cell. So the secondary the X is the color of the thing. So so in primary up. Uh, items and secondary items uh, appear in options, and that's the idea of exact co covering with covers. And I could give you a, a very, a very simple toy problem now, so that, uh, which will make it all, all crystal clear. Um, so, so I'm going to say there are there are five items, P, Q, and R, and X and Y. Uh, th these are primary, and these are secondary. And the op and, and I'm going to I'm going to give you the options. Uh, alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon are, are five options. The first option is P, Q, X, C, Y, A. Okay. So so, 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 so uh, option alpha says take P, cover P, cover Q. Uh, uh, Give X color C, give Y color A. Beta is P R X colored A, Y colored C. Uh, uh, gamma is says take P all by itself and X colored B. Uh, delta says take Q and X colored A. And epsilon says take R and Y colored B. So, so let's see if we can solve this problem. Uh, I've got to choose. I've got to choose options uh, so that P is covered exactly once, Q is covered exactly once, R is covered exactly once, and X is is colored the same in uh, in all the choices, and Y is colored the same in all the choices. So, so for example, suppose I uh, uh, suppose I choose option alpha. Okay, so, so so that says I I I've covered P and Q, so I so I, I can't cover I can't cover beta because I've already got P. Uh, I can't cover gamma because I've already covered P, and I can't cover delta because I've already covered Q. So I so so uh, if I've chosen alpha, then I, then I, the only way I can cover R is is to choose epsilon. But that says Y is colored B and Y is, has already been colored A. So, so I. So alpha is out. There could be no way to solve this with alpha. Well, let's suppose uh, alpha is out. Then now, I, now there's only one one way left to cover Q. So I so I've got to use delta, 
I, so, so now I've covered Q and I, and I decided X is A. And, and so, so, so that, th that throws out gamma because X is B here. So, 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 so I've got to, um, uh, I, the only way left to cover P is, 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 is to use beta. And, and so so, so the, the answer is, the answer is going to be that, that, that the, I have to choose these three options, beta, delta, and epsilon, in order to, in, in order to, in order to do this, all right? What? Why? Not epsilon. No epsilon. Not epsilon. <coughs> Not epsilon. Just this. Hey, I'm, yeah, I'd, I'd like to claim that I did this on purpose to see if anybody would. <laughs> but, but, it, but in fact, I, I blew it. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah. So, all right, now, so, so, the, the, but the, uh, uh, the, the key thing to realize as we're solving this problem is that, that, uh, we start with, with the whole problem, but every time we make a decision, we get a subproblem, which is another XCC problem that's simpler than the one we started with. So, 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 for, so, so if I, if, for example, if, if I say that, that I choose alpha, then, then it tells me to eliminate all the other, uh, it, it, you know, because I've already covered P, it tells me eliminate this, eliminate this, eliminate this. And, and so we found out that the subproblem uh, was uh, we were left with, uh, uh, with with R still to be covered, but no options, and, and that was a problem that that has no solution. So so now we go back and, and we st and we now we say oh okay I I can't use alpha, so so let's consider the problem that doesn't have alpha. So so I throw alpha out, and and, and if I throw alpha out. Uh, uh, well that that just dele that just de deletes that. That just leaves that line. Uh, okay. Okay. So, so, so this is the toy problem. Let me now show you how we how we do it inside the computer. How, how am I going to actually write an algorithm that that represents this? Uh, uh, the, the old. Uh, uh, so, so I had the same problem. Um, Oh, turned, uh, on page 89 of volume 4b, it turned out this same toy problem uh, w w I was here, and, and, and I showed how it was represented w w with doubly linked lists. I mean, each, each, uh, uh, each thing had a pointer to, uh, 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 to, to its neighbors um, in, in, this, in this data structure. Let's do it now, however, with, um, uh, with dancing cells. So, uh, uh, so here, not, uh, okay. Now, pay attention. Look, 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 look close here. I, I, I'm going to have, um, I'm going to have one array that, that that lists all the options, and I'm going to call this an array of nodes, and, and, I'm, and so I'm going to have node x, um, node x, uh, and, and I'm, I'm going to have nodes. I'm going to number the nodes x equals zero, one, two, three, four, and, and I, uh, uh, I'll see how many I need, uh, and, and then uh, no, node x. Well, actually, it, it's no, a node is going to have three parts to it, and, and, and so I'm first going to talk about the um, uh, uh, the, uh, the item part of x. Of, and then and then the uh, color part of X, a and then there's something called the loc part of X. So, so node of X really has has three components, and uh, so so here's where here's where I list uh, my, my my toy problem. So uh, I got uh, 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 item X is going to be P Q P Q X Y. It, it's it's for it. This is this is for um, alpha here. Is going is is, is going to appear here. Um, uh, between between options, I I I have got a I, I've got a spacer. So so, so there's going to be six seven. I, I'm going to put beta here, um, and that's P R X Y. Um, and then uh, the spacer. And gamma is going to be um, p and uh, and x, and uh, that'll be 11, 12. There's another spacer here. Uh, uh, delta 
will be qx, and then epsilon will be ry. <coughs> so this will be 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. The epsilon here, the delta here, and this, and I got spaces here. So the color is where I put the colors. So x, x is color C, y is color A. Here, x is color A, y is color C, x is color B, x is color A, y is color B. So this is, so, so in my, um, I, I, in this array of nodes, I have, I have the data, and it, it, but then I have to, 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 to put, put the spacer in order, to, in order to navigate around here. So, so, so I put, um, uh, after an option uh, with four items, I, I put a minus four in the item position. And so this is going to be a minus four, and this is going to be a minus two, a minus two, and a minus two. And, and then be, before it, I, 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 I put it in the, um, uh, in the loc position, I, I, I'm putting a plus four here, and plus four, plus four, plus two. So, so, so then, uh, as, as I'm wa walking around the data structure, I, I can put a zero here. So, uh, uh, so I, I can use I can use this part of uh, of memory to uh, to know when I'm at the end of an option and go from the end back to the beginning if I want to. Um, <coughs> now. Um, <coughs> Another thing, I, 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 I also will have to remember for each item which options it appears in. So, so I have a big, uh, another array which I call set, and, and I'm going to show you a set of i and i. Uh, and, it, and this is, this is going to be a, a Interesting, but but bear with me as I as I write it out. I, 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 uh, so um, I, I is it, 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 uh, it goes zero, one, two, three, four, and so on and so on. Uh, it, and and in it, and I'm going to associate P item P with with location two. It, uh, it, you, you, you'll see why in, in a minute, but but uh, but uh, P, if, if you see uh, uh, item P occurs three times. It, it occurs here in position one, in six, in six and, two, and, and eleven. So, so for, for my dancing cell data structure, I have to have the inverse permutation. So I have to so I have to have one, six, and eleven. Uh, and, uh, uh, and, and and the location is going to for this is location p, location p plus one and location p plus two. In other words, one is uh, the location of this in the set array is is position two p position p. The location of this in the set array is position p plus one, and here it is position t plus one. So so so, so uh, as I write this out, you you'll. Uh, uh, I, You'll get the idea. I'm going. I'm going to. Put, I'm going to put Q uh, here. Uh, I, I, I'm reserving these these two cells for other information that that's going to be helpful uh, associated with P. In fact, here here I'm going to put size of P. And here I'm going to put some something I call position of P. Uh, just just write size. Um, so, so this is sorry. This is pause, and this is size for for Q. And the size of, of P is three because there are three th things in this set. Um, so, so one, six, and okay. So, so, so Q appears. Q appears in, in two and fourteen. So there's two and fourteen here. Uh, then I'm going to have R is similar pause size, and R is going to go. This is going to be nine, ten, eleven. So R is going to be number eleven, and uh, it, it it appears in in seven and um, seventeen, um, and and so on. Uh, so, uh, so so this is how I'm setting. So in, in, inside the computer, I've got a I, I, my main operation 
uh, the domain of, of each item, uh, of each variable, the, the variables are the items, so the domain are the options in which, uh, the, the, the primary item, the, uh, the options in which they appear. And so I've got to know where, 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 where the, uh, uh, which options contain, uh, contain P, and, the, and, and, and by looking at the size, I know how many options are available for, uh, for that guy. Uh, so um, uh, I, th th then there's another there's another array item <laughs> which uh, which completes the which completes the scheme, and in item uh, there there are five items uh, and and one of them is is p q, q r x and y, and I have uh, uh, so so now I, I actually my handwriting isn't isn't very good so I. So I uh, printed this, uh, this all out, and I made the assignment that that, that p is equal to uh, 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 you know, p is equal to two, q is equal to seven, r, so on. So the so in the item array, p, q, r, x, and y inside the computer, it says two, seven, eleven, fifteen, twenty-one. Those are the places where p, q, r, x, and y are. So and x is in a uh, is in four of the options. Uh, it was in three, eight, twelve, and fifteen. So here it is: three, eight, twelve, and fifteen. Those are the ones that have item x, uh, the item equal to to uh, the letter x, which is fifteen. Uh, and then the location is fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. That's where that's where x equal appears in the set array. So, so, so we've got the, the, the these numbers. Um, uh, th this is a permutation of the places where p where, where p appears. Uh, uh, th these are the. Uh, th this is um, this is alpha here. Uh, this is beta. This is gamma. This is delta epsilon. And um, uh, so, so, so two, three, four, two, two, three, uh, two, three, four is a permutation of the place where p appears. It's the, um, uh, the, the the way everything appears in, compactly in memory. And uh, uh, the, the curious thing about dancing cells is that. Uh, I, uh, when you're debugging it, you really have to uh, ha have to have special tools to, in order to see what's going on because because everything is, it, it, you know, all the, all the information is there, but it's but but it's not in the in the tra traditional way that that uh, that our parents taught us. Okay, so so um, the uh, I, I guess I uh, each um, each thing uh, each item. Has a dedicated part of the set array, um, uh, and, and, and as the algorithm runs, uh, these uh, the, uh, the item field of a node, color field of a node, are always going to be fixed. These are constant; they stay the same. But but uh, as things go in and out of these domains, uh, we're, we're going to change. We're, we're going to change the loc. Parts and, and we're also going to change these numbers here. So, so, so let me show you what happens when uh, w w uh, when we decide that option alpha I I is no good. So, so, so at, at, what, at some point we come to the conclusion that that we don't want uh, we don't want alpha anymore I in our problem. So, so, so we're going to we're going to go to a subproblem that doesn't have alpha. And uh, what does that mean? That, that means we have to delete. Uh, uh, we have to delete alpha fr from the uh, fr uh, from the sets it appears in. So, so, so we look at uh, at the first item of alpha. It's, it's item two uh, in location two. So so, so, so here's item two, uh, and, and uh, it has a size of three. Uh, we we, we want to delete delete one fr fr from this set of three elements. 
so, so that means I'm going to I'm going to move up 11 here and move one up here, and I'm going to change the size to two, from three to two. That that's the deletion operation on on this set. I, I mean, the set is before I was I was I was drawing an array left to right. Now I'm doing it top to top down. But 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 by by changing this two, by by changing set of two to to. Uh, from, from 1 to 11, I, you know, and, 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 and I, I, I move these two guys around, and, and, and then I say the size is now is now 2 instead of 3, so, so that means uh, the options that now contain P are 11 and 6. Uh, uh, okay, S similarly, I, 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 I'm d I, uh, I, I delete from 7, I can see that this, is, I, I, this item is Q, so its size is going to go down to 1, and I'm, and I'm going to move... Uh, uh, 14 here and 2 here. Uh, 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 x, x, x is is this guy, so I got to delete uh, 3 out, out of this set, so this becomes 15, this becomes 3, and now the size goes down from 4 to 3. So, so x is now in these three options. And, and, and finally y uh, gets changed. Uh, and uh, uh, it's all a mess now. So here's what happened after I have purged alpha from the system. Uh, I, I, I'm now left with uh, sizes two. Uh, I had here so. Um, Alpha, uh, you know, alpha is still here in the nodes, but the, but, but 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 it's invisible. And, uh, if we look in the sets, uh, uh, you know, the set the set of P now has only two things in it. Uh, the set of Q now has only one thing in it. Uh, the set of R st uh, still has two things in it. The set of X uh, has three things in it. And Y uh, has has two things in it. So um, this represents now the subproblem after I've deleted option alpha. <laughs> and uh, stay with me for another few minutes. Uh, and. Uh, 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 because I'm, I'm going to do what, what, one more step, uh, so, 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 so that hopefully. It, so, so now Q has only this one option remaining. It, it's got to be it, 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 you know, the size is one, so it, Q only appears in in this option here, which is uh, uh, which says seventeen, which says fourteen. Here it is. Uh, yeah, so, so, so fourteen. This is this is delta, uh, and 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 so uh, I, I have to um, now say, oh, I'm going to choose option delta. So, so, so choosing option delta says um, I'm I, uh, I, I, I uh, okay uh, option delta. <laughs> It, you know that's Q and uh, and uh, 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 X A, right. and and so I'm covering Q. Uh, that means uh, the Q is no longer a active, and so I'm going to move it. I'm going to move it to the end of this list. The I the item list also. Um, uh, Keeps track of which items have, have I used in, uh, in options, and, and so I, I'm now using Q, um, and, and, uh, and and Q is no longer active. Uh, uh, similar, uh, similarly, X now. When I see X, X A, I, I go through all, all of these things and I delete. The, uh, where x was not equal to a, and uh, uh, so, so, so I look at all the places where x appeared: 15, 8, 12. Uh, 15 it was a. That's fine. 8 um, it, it is a. That's fine. 12 is b. So, so, so I got to remove this. So, 
Um, <laughs> okay, so, so so this size goes down to two, and uh, and also x becomes inactive, uh, so so, so a active goes down to three. So 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 at this point, I'm I, I'm sitting a after I've ch chosen d delta. Uh, you, ha you have to believe me because because I understand this is going quick. But now the the active items now are two, twenty one, and eleven, namely p, uh, y, and r, and and uh, uh, and that's the subproblem with those active items. And then I've also reduced uh, all the all the options that that are incompatible with what I've chosen. Um, uh, uh, and, and so, and so, it, it, so uh, although I haven't really removed anything from the, the set of Q, uh, it doesn't matter. Q is no longer active. Uh, so, so uh, left with a sub subproblem with, with three items, P, R, and, and Y. And, and, and this table tells me exactly what's uh, uh, what's that? At, and and uh, so once I go to the sub problem, I can easily go back afterwards. And if if I say, oh no, let, let me not go to that sub problem. Let me do it the other way. Uh, and undoing is extremely fast in this in this thing. Okay, so 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 that's the um, uh, that's the idea of dancing cells. And and and, and now I'm going to show you. Uh, uh, Performance you know, that, that it actually works, but but uh, is there a question before? Yeah. Do you know Paul doesn't change in the algorithm? Um, what? Paul, you have Paul's that doesn't change in the algorithm. I, 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 I do have my hearing aid. Um, so Paul's does not change in the algorithm. Paul, Paul's. You have this. Paul's. 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 I should have changed. Paul changed. Very good. Paul changed. Very good. You, you, you get highest priority. Yeah. Um, in, in fact, um, if you look, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the, yeah. Yeah. Pause is, is the inverse. Is the inverse for this thing. So, so the position of Q uh, went from one to four, and the position of. Uh, of um, y went from four to one. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Huh? You. I have a question. So uh, I might just not have understood this, but I'm more coming from a subdomain, and you said every XCC problem is equivalent to sub problem, right? So in SAT, one of the things that makes uh, solving really efficient is... Uh, Please start over. <laughs> <laughs> so um, in SAT solving, one of the things that makes solvers really efficient is uh, actually conflict learning. So you don't have to explore all the branches because you learn something from yeah. exploring one of the branch. Yeah. So the undoing here seems pretty cool. Uh, how would you do something like trying to learn which branches you don't need to explore anymore because you have already learned information that makes them not possible? Uh, so, 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 so that's... A, Okay, so first I have the basic algorithms for, for, for how to walk around and navigate, and then I can build, I can I can build all kind of other stuff, you know, uh, all, all the heuristics and, and like the, the, the learning and so on. In my XCC solvers, however, uh, I haven't I, I, I haven't gotten I haven't put learning in yet, uh, and, and and still on the kinds of problems that they're working on. Uh, it, it turns out that uh, uh, he, uh, he, you know it, it's not a win. It, it's not such a win as it is for SAT solver. But 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 I, I, I take other problems and I convert them into SAT and mm -hmm. and and and, and, and uh, uh, you know sometimes the learning is really important. And similarly with with, uh, with, with CSP and and so on. And there's also 
questions of restarts and all kinds of other stuff that goes on. Uh, uh, so, so, so yeah, we we're dealing with with tough problems, and and, and so we uh, we need lots of tricks. But but the uh, uh, the, the, the kind uh, it turns out that the, there's this class of problems that uh, uh, I, I, I sort of I, I would always do with the SAT solver and the other problems that I always do with my XCC solver. And, and, and so far, uh, uh, it, it's kind of an art to, uh, to, to decide which, which one is actually going to work better when, when you get to the really hard, when you get to the really hard problem. But, 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 but uh, speaking of problems, let, let, let me look at, at, at some benchmarks. So, so um, uh, I brought, yeah, so w right now I'm working on volume 4C. Uh, and the first part of I 4 c is going to be about um, uh, uh, CSP. Uh, so so, so my 4 b was sort of, the, uh, half of it was XCC, half of it was set. Was set. And, and my 4 c is, is starting out with uh, uh, constraint satisfaction. So the, uh, I'm in the middle of writing it and um, uh, I, I've still got, I, I'm, I'm hoping to finish it by spring. Uh, uh, this part, and, and then it'll, it'll be available online. Uh, uh, well, right now, you, you, if, 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 you, if you're clever, you can figure out how, how to look at the, at the current draft. Uh, I, I, I'll put a link. Uh -huh. I, I, I'll, I'll, put, I'll put a link on it. But uh, uh, I, I, I wanted to show you uh, some of the outputs, uh, some of the results. Oh, I see. I, 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 oops, did we do, oh, okay, so, um, yeah, this is, this is my hand copy, I, 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 I should have taken, oh, okay, wait, anyway, uh, here we have, um, uh, oh, aha, uh, page 63 of the current draft, uh, so, so, so I, 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 I set up a, a, a bunch of benchmark problems that that, that were typical and not too uh, not too easy, and and, and so here is a, 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 a I don't want to go go into the details of exactly what the what what they are, but but for example, problem Q is is the classical problem of uh, uh, of, uh, of sixteen queens. <laughs> You, know, you take a 16 by 16 board and place one queen in every row and er one in every column, no two in the same diagonal. And uh, uh, the, there are uh, 14 million solutions to this. The, the, uh, you have 256 options, uh, uh, I, I, you know, 16 by 16 uh, places. Uh, you, 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 can, you can put a queen in. In, in, in row I and column J, for, you have 16 choices in each case, and then you have 32 primary options and 58 secondary options. The primary options are the rows and columns, and the secondary options are the diagonals. Um, and, and, and so, no, uh, uh, if we use if we use dancing links, um, uh, it turned out that uh, it was it it took for, for, for 40 gigamems. That that's 40 billion references to memory, and uh, dancing cells 44 gigamem. So we, we, we didn't win that one. Um, however, uh, almost uh, almost all the other cases uh, were doing rather well. So here, the, the ratio was 80, you know 80 percent. Uh, another pro problem that I added later D is 60 percent, 66. So, so, so there's uh, uh, th th there was one. Uh, which was a rather simple problem because it, it, did, it didn't take very long to solve at all. Where dancing links w worked better, but but, but in, it, 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 in most of these, uh, you know, dancing cells w was doing very, very well. Now, uh, then, w then we added uh, heuristics, you know, better ways t to choose. Uh, uh, and, 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 and this uh, dancing cell turned out to, 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 to make that, that simpler. 
so, so, so we have other ways to, to choose what we're going to use for the next branch. And after we, after we bring in this, the, uh, the statistics on these problems, uh, it turns out that, uh, that, we, that we had three major uh, 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 heuristics. One, one is to use the, uh, the, the, the most common one is the minimum remaining values. Uh, but then there's a weighted heuristic, which, uh, which in this case uh, gives us a 20-fold speed up. Uh, on problem H. Problem H was an interesting problem about uh, uh, it, it, uh, ma making snake paths with windmills. I, 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 I can't explain uh, shortly, but, but, but anyway. Uh, he, 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 and another heuristic that was invented two or three years ago uh, called the, the failure rate statistic. Uh, in this case, you know, Gave a big speed up. Uh, the, the problem of of McMahon tiles, and so uh, uh, th that was that was one of the one of the nice things that uh, uh, not now when when I combine. Uh, <coughs> sorry. When I combine the heuristics with. Uh, and dancing cells, then I have, um, uh, I, you know, I, I, I can do better on the Queen's problem with the, with the, so, so dancing cells are starting to win uh, uh, most of them. Uh, and that is, um, <coughs> uh, the, the, uh, Okay, that's half of my benchmark. But I also, I, I, but but I also have benchmarks that that are much more difficult problems, uh, for, for which I want to do more extensive, more extensive pruning. More, more I, I want to, I, I want to do, do much better look ahead, uh, uh, to, uh, to delete options that uh, uh, that, that couldn't be used. And so, and so there's a, uh, a, a, a general, uh, a general idea that we, that we that we uh, that's important in CSP called do domain consistency, uh, which in the context of XCC problems says that uh, I, I don't want to. I don't want to keep any option that, that could cause some other item to become wiped out. And uh, so uh, uh, because I have dancing cells, I was able to write uh, a, a much more complicated program that, that would do this extra, this extra, fe extra special, uh, 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 you know, uh, what do you call it, pruning of, uh, of possibilities. Uh, and, and and cut the search tree way down. N now it, it's expensive t t to do all the, uh, to do all this uh, all this thinking about how, how can I cut it down. Uh, so so on on on, on mo most problems uh, th that I was faced with, it it turned out that uh, I didn't really want to do this expensive test uh, because even if I had a large search tree. I was going through so fast on each part of the search tree, there was no point in, in trying to make the search tree smaller. Uh, and, and in fact, I spent six months trying to find a good problem wh 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 where I needed uh, the extra, wh where I was, I was going to get back the, the amount of extra computation in order, to, in order to keep the search tree small. Um, however, uh, the, uh, 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 eventually I, I found a bunch of, uh, of problems for, for which uh, uh, this domain DC stands for domain consistency. FC stands for forward consistency, uh, which is a weaker kind of uh, of pruning, and uh, and, and so um, I, because I had the dancing cells technology, I was able to write this much more complicated program that would that, that would uh, that would solve XCC problems with, with domain consistency, and this. This meant that I, I that I, 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 on a, lo a lot of these I could solve problems that I never thought I could, uh, I, I never thought I'd be able to solve. So, so, so you look at these numbers, and, uh, and and I have a problem here. Uh, that well, I, unfortunately, time is 
since since time is up, I can't I, I can't go into into too many more details. Uh, but I do want to have one more uh, one more thing is that uh, ex ex beyond XCC problems, there's another class of problems called M MCC problems, and, and, and this is uh, a vast generalization of XCC. So, so the MCC problem says that instead of saying that every primary item has to be covered exactly once, you, you give a range and say every primary item has to be covered at least A times and at most B times. Uh, and, and this uh, opens up a large number of, of other problems. And it's, it's an important global constraint that uh, uh, you know, that that that, that uh, uh, f f so, so when I used dancing links to solve MCC problems, I had to introduce a new dance step, uh, and and it's, it's discussed, uh, uh, and we solved a bunch of them. But 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 now uh, a, a, fr a friend of mine in Belgium named Philip Stoppers. Uh, Two months ago, sh showed me that uh, you could use dancing cells to solve the MCC problems and not only the XCC problem. And and and, and so here, finally, uh, I've got some problems. These these problems have script letter co uh, code names, and and these are all MCC MCC problems, and with dancing links. Compared to dancing cells and 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 three different uh, uh, heuristics, uh, we, we make ma major uh, ma major improvements in these in, in, in most of these. So so here, here for example, I, I, I was doing 200 uh, gigamems and now it's down to 39 or 38 gigamems with dancing cell. Uh, so so. People who, who are, 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 want to pursue this f further, my programs are, are online. Uh, so, so, so SSXCC is the program that solves uh, this is sparse set XCC solver. Uh, SSMCC is, is the new one I just added last month, the, the sparse set uh, MC6 solver. And then there's the XCCDC, which is the XCC solver with domain consistency. And uh, these, the, these programs are, I think, state of the art now, and they all use dancing cell. Thank you for sticking with me. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs>